Oh, God. Okay, so there's just whole poops hanging off here. That's just... Ooh. Alright, let's see if I can do this without vomiting. Hey guys, Kylie from Furology. Um, this is probably one of the worst. I'm going to say it's up there. It probably is. Um, worst that I've seen, certainly in a long while. This dog's name is Wocky. He does have eyeballs. He has severe facial matting. Um, he has a muzzle on because the owners asked me to muzzle him before they got him out of the car. So I guess we'll find out what that's about. That's his ears. Um, his feet. Oh my lord. Okay, that's just a mat on top of it. Okay. There's all grass seeds in there. Um, his rear end is covered in more matting and feces and grass seeds. So let's just get this going. Uh, I'm not going to bath him first. I am going to put my other glove on. Lord. Alright. Uh, I'm going to try a seven. Hopefully old mate here doesn't get too schnippy with me. He said somebody else tried to groom him already, which is beyond me. But anyway, um, he bit them. They didn't have muzzles, so that happened. My Good husband's time. here. Right. I forget, mate. We're recording. I forget. Oh. Never been groomed. So, yeah. He's covered in really severe matting and feces. That's that's just mats. Look at him coming up his feet. He's stinky. Yeah, he stinks. Anyway. Good project. Hmm. Great fun. Alright, let's see if we can get in. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully he doesn't bite. He does have a muzzle on. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't bite me. Hopefully this isn't too painful for him. You can operate that camera if you like. Yep. Um, if your dog looks like this, you should know this is painful. This is not okay for your dog. Um, the person who booked in the grooming is aware of that. Uh, which is why he's finally been booked in. The owners maybe not so much. I don't really know the story. And to be honest, I don't really care because I'm a bit annoyed or upset to see a dog in this condition. So he is not going to look pretty in any way, shape or form. He's just going to get all of this off. <laughs> Which is the kindest thing we can do for this dog. And as quickly as possible too because those um, legs an underside his I imagine his sanitary area is horrific it's going to be painful in places so we are not stuffing around with any of this we're just getting it off so he's already getting a bit mad at me which is just too bad buddy you will know I am doing this to help you my love this is not a hurt this is a help Oh, I feel so sorry for them when they're like this. It's not nice. So I'm just going to try and make sure that, because these are heavy, this hair is completely felted and um, it can pull the skin into little wrinkles and stuff that we obviously don't want to run the clippers over. So we're just going to go little by little, making sure we're not catching any skin. I don't know how I'm going to get his face off with a muzzle on it. That would be interesting. Um, if you can't afford to have your dog green, don't have a dog. Give it away. Take it to a rescue. Anything else. Not this. And this is like, this has got to be more than a year. This would have to be at least two years without having a groom to be in this kind of condition. So, for the sake of $90, this is what this hill looks like right now. This is sad, sad, sad. Let's change these blades over. Oh my god, 
Okay, so there's just whole poops hanging off here. That's just... Ooh. And his hair's falling off back there too. He's got all falling out. From probably burnt from urine and feces being taken the hair. Alright, let's see if I can do this without vomiting. Oh my lord, it stinks. At least he's not mad. I think he knows. He knows I'm helping him. Okay, that is skin infection. It's probably a... I don't know. I don't even know. Find it under his tail. There it is. Up. Stand up, mate. Stay. I hope he's been sexed at least. I think so. Make sure we're not taking off more than we mean to. Alright, so. So, if anything's going to be painful, it's going to be around here. You can see the weight of the mat pulling down his skin there. Um, which is, and his penis is in there somewhere. You have to be careful for. I don't think he has testicles. I hope he doesn't. I don't feel anything in there. Gonna keep checking the heat on these blades because they are working hard. Stand up. Come on, stand up. I forget, bud. I know, I know. It's not the best. Oh. 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 Try and come down the leg here. Okay, so the foot is, when they've got matting like this, it is freaking terrible. Alright. Because some of them have rear really dew claws that you can't see or feel. You know what you're clipping at sometimes. It's not good. Yeah, he's going to have some serious grass seed infections. Like, he would have to, for sure. There's no way you could have this many grass seeds in the coat and not have them in the skin. I'm not going to take any out now. I'll be bathing first and see what comes out that way. Otherwise, I'll be here for hours picking. Them out. You're right there, mate. Hang in there, buddy. Stand up, mate. Yeah, that's your foot. You can actually use it now. You're all right. I'm here. I got you. Yes, I do, sir. Okay. Let's. Where are you going? Don't be so mad. Hey. So he does have a muzzle on. The owner said he bit, I think I said that before. If somebody else tried to groom him and they bit him. Oh no. So the muzzle's on for obviously my safety and to try and help keep him calm, but I don't know. Let's we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have to get into this face head. Alright, we're just gonna reverse this. Okay, okay. I don't know where his eye is. Little by little. That's, yeah. You're all right, mate. Hang in there. Take it easy. I oh, know. Hey, hey, come on. you got to calm down. You have to have the muzzle on, and I know you just need to be a chill bill. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, my lord. Yeah, take it easy. His eyes are infected. Right, let's try. That's his ear in there. God. Fortunately, a lot of this is actually matted off the skin. That is so fluffy. That's insane. Come on, chill out, mate. That's the worst place to have a body mat, right in the corner of that ear. Good 
golly. Honey, you are going to be a whole new man after this. You're okay. Well, I know. It's a big deal. I know. Alright, I'm just going to take this off and um, hope for the best. Pant away, my love. Yeah, get the breath. Alright, I'll make you a deal. I'll let that stay off, but you can't bite me. You don't get to bite me, alright? We work together on this. Okay, so. This part is not gonna be fun. I think it's too exhausted to fight me. Fingers crossed. Alright, just chill, my love. Just chill. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Take your tongue away, sweetie. Tongue away. I know you want to pant. You can do that in just a minute. Oh, that stinks. There's like a yeast in that shit there. Oh, I shouldn't have sworn. I'll be for it. Oh. Yeasty. Oh, come on, you're choking yourself out. That's a choice you're making, darling. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he is just can exhausted. see what he looks like now. I really do try not to be judgmental, like, I try to keep it professional, alright, but there's a limit when, when it is just truly upsetting as somebody who loves dogs, okay, like I get it, life's hard, if your dog comes in with some nuts and stuff because you didn't brush it, whatever, this is not that. I have not had a taste like this in over a year. And like, he's gone through most of the summer like this too, you guys. It's the middle end of January. He has gone through some really bloody hot days like this. He's lucky to be alive, my little dude. He's not fighting you. He is not mad. Alright, close that eye for my sweetheart. I know, I know. I know. I know, hang in there. Good boy. Uh-uh, pop your tongue away. That's it. No. I know, I know. A little bit of pulling, but it's worth it, my love. And she licked my clippers. I think good comes of that, sweetie. Alright. So, I'm just gonna try and hold that shut. Just. Oh, I don't know what we're cooking at. No. Uh, uh, uh. No love. Alright, that's it. Good boy. Alright, alright. This is good. We're getting there. Let me touch the heat on the plate. feel amazing. <laughs> He's like, Obviously, I can see. this is not how I would normally no. clip a dog. This is like, just get it off. Yep. Get it off. It's rough as that. It's not ideal to be going at a dog's face like that. Oh. It's kind of sticking while we're looking at Oh shit. You see that? Blood in the end of that one. It's not pussy, so that's good. Alright, my man. Let's let's tackle this front here. Up you go. Alright. 
Okay, that's it. I want you to stay up. Up. Yep. Oh no, I'm really tired of the planting. Hang in there. So confused, like they full on came in and asked me to bring out a muzzle and muzzle him in the car. Really? Yeah. This is the best behaved dog I've seen in a while. This is a good behaved dog considering this is, I can tell you, this is painful. Yeah. This is actually painful. That's how much he is just happy to be getting this off. It probably feels like a good scratch that he hasn't had in years. We'll see what happens actually. I am going to put this back on while I do his legs. Cause Might as well. They hurt. That hurts a lot. It's a bit looser now that all that matting's gone. Hello, little dude. What's your name? Uh, Rocky. Rocky? Rocky. Rocky. Oh, I can't get this off. Put a little kid name there or something. I know, I know, I know. Hang it there. Hang in there. I can't see that in there or something. Did I change? No. Is that hot? Thanks for recording for me. Yeah. Anybody playing at home? Husband Dale on the camera. Thumbs up for him. Well, I did book the dog. <laughs> so you did. <laughs> I didn't realise. <sighs> he said it's a little bit matted. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, he said it was pretty bad. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, keep that away from me. Oh. You alright, mate? That's a new breather. You're good. Good boy. So this is, this can actually be such a big change to them to have um, the weight off um, and to have the the cooling, like yeah. they've been so hot for such a long time, to suddenly be so cool. It's a really big change to them and it can make them unwell. Actually, out of curiosity, you will put it all in a plastic bag and I'll weigh, I'll weigh it. Oh man, this is, oh shoot. Okay. Oh, that's blood. What is that? Is that a splinter or something? So, this is like, I just have to go through that. This, I don't know if that's like old pus or grass seed. It's rock hard. That is rock hard. It's blood. Oh, no. Hopefully I didn't do it. Uh, this is a known risk when you've got a dog with this much matting that these things can happen. So if I did do that, I wouldn't be surprised at all to discover that. You could have been stuck with a or something. That's why the mother's in there, right? Yeah, we, we don't know what's under here. There's not any way to know what's under Yeah, there's lots of sticks in here. I just don't know. Oh, not these. These look good as a stack of sticks. Yeah. Vicious. It's in here. Yeah, just hang on a sec, we'll come back. Keep going this way for a minute. What are you seeing? So... Ooh, that twist up that way. There's just... I need to go this way and hold it up, I reckon. This is gonna do it. Oh, we got it. Yeah, so that is some that's, rock hard that's, that's, uh, pus scab. and blood and scab. And then we got. Okay. Okay. We've got a better look at that after the bath. Let's change this blade over. Wow, he's been so good. Oh my lord, this is an ordeal for this little guy. Surprisingly, um. The other animal that you've had that I thought was also amazing was a cat. <laughs> which I thought was not possible. Some cats don't mind a groom. Some cats are a little bit fancy. Not all cats. 
Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I got my first battle scar from Hello, a cat. Hello, Two years of grooming. I've never been bitten by a dog or scratched by a cat, and I got a scratch the other day, a couple of weeks ago. First battle scar. Oh, well, you play fire, you get right. burned. That's it. Alright. I am fire. sitting while I get under here just because my back is. Well, my back doesn't want to do this anymore today. It is dinner time. Yes, this is an emergency booking because he wouldn't survive the week. I mean, they've had two years to book him in, but it's an emergency today. So here we are. And yes, I do take them. If they tell me it must be done, then here I am doing it. Yeah, I remember the fellow, he actually got your business card when when we saw that you were with the other company. Yeah. All right, so let's, I want you to do this for me, okay? And I'll just trust me. So this is sure, I'm taking probably a lot more than I need to, but um, it's gonna be better for him to get this off. And if he's not gonna be groomed for another two years, well, let's give him a fighting chance. Hope that's not a spectacle. So it's got lots of matting around his little doodle. Okay, no. Ah, he's got Ooh. one nut. Oh, that's right. I don't really understand. This one. Maybe that's why he's called Wocky. <laughs> Poor fella. Oh, one one still works on it. Oh, He's loving that. He's like, oh yeah. No. He is. No. Yeah. His eyes, he's starting to fall asleep. It's so good. Yeah. You don't want that on anymore, huh? I don't blame you. Mm. Can you see yeah. Sorry. It's not too hot. Okay, so be mad about that. I promise to build this out, you're going to be feeling good. There it is, grass seeds galore. Alright, we'll come back to that after the bath. we do this one. Whoa, that's smelly. The hair is thick. So dirty and thick that the clippers are struggling to get in there. This is a 15 blade. If you're a groomer, you know. That's insane. This should just be clearing out. Alright. End up, boy. Let's turn you around. Do no, what is it? Whoa, the hokey pokey. Do the hokey. Put your left foot in, put your left foot in. Put your left foot in and shake it on the back. That's enough hokey pokey. Oh, alright. All right. Let's take your clothes off on this side. What's his name again? Walkie. Walkie. <laughs> I don't know what breed he is. I couldn't make that out. Before or after <laughs> He must be a bit of something of sort. Multi, fixy, something, something. Maybe some poodle, who knows. So, peeling a dog, that's what we're doing. Yep. He's going to be happy. I think he already is happy. He'll get to sleep in the bed tonight as well. 
so that he won't smell like an old bed. Alright, so... Out for the booty hole. Mm. Mm hmm. It was not pleasant. I would do that. Please. Huh? I would pack that. You reckon? Yeah. Just a bit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay, the matting is significantly worse here, so that is completely felted around the whole leg on both sides. Good clippers, by the way. Yes. I happen to like them. Alright. What yes. about your other new ones? Yes. I do have my other new ones. I'm purposely not using them today. Not here. <laughs> Maybe once we've had a bath. Now that I have two, I have options, so, you know. Muzzle is on. This one's bad. So this is what I was expecting on the other side, but didn't quite wasn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. But here it is on the other side. Pokey pokey did not serve me well. Oh, no. I'm just going to drop down to the 15 and try and do the inside leg and see if that gives me a way in for the rest of it. My word. There's a foot in there somewhere. Oh, look. No, nope. okay, that's just more matting. So, you probably won't appreciate it, but we're... Oh, shit, everything's attached. Oh. Yeah, get that off first. It's a chest, I reckon. Look, um... Oh, what is that? The business. Oh my. Be poor oh, that's the moccasin one, isn't it? They're both, both they're both like that. Alright, yeah, let's just make a hasty start and see what comes of it. We're getting in. Oh my god, that's connected to that. Okay. Okay, great. It's like a bloody jigsaw puzzle. Put your own dog together. Don't get mad at me, alright? You just chill, because I'm not looking at signs that you're mad at me. You've officially won the game with Rocky. Yes! Here he is. Alright. Desirious. I know, I know. That's a lot. I know. You're good. We can do this, alright? Just be a chill bunny. Now when you poop, it goes on the ground. Oh, yes. Would that be a delightful change? Okay, so. I'm gonna try. I don't know what we're gonna try. So it's got like tendons and stuff there that we don't wanna cut. And there. Oh. That's good. This is honestly, this is just potluck. Hey, if we don't hurt him, then that's a good day. There we go. Alright, that's his heel. Okay, we're in somewhere. Ooh. Ooh, my kitty aunt. That is tight. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, there we go. Oh, I know, my wife. You're doing such a good job. You really are. There he is. Oh, that smells. Look at that. 
Gut. Oh. <laughs> so fun to shower. She's actually really small. It is. Fun. How you doing? Hey? Hi. Hello. Hi, good boy. Time, I promise I will give you a cuddle and a kiss after your bath. I'm not going to do that now, though, no. okay? So is there any fleas? Uh, do you know what? I don't think fleas could survive in that, to be honest. Yeah, they're like kind of clean, don't they? Uh, I don't know. don't know. The fleas go oh, where fleas want to go. don't even know that there's a dog there. <laughs> yeah. No, just lots of dandruff like that. He hasn't been washed, obviously. Yeah. He's very dirty. His skin. He is going to be a whole new man. Aren't you? Let's just find a way in, okay? Hey? Alright, there we go. That is good. Good, good, good. I mean, it's coming off for the seven, so I have that to be thankful for. He's not an all over ten. But my lord, do I want to just clean you all up and take you home and keep you, okay? Give you a different kind of life. That's... There. So you can see that underarm skin there. If my clippers went along that like that, it would cut. Okay. I think all in all, we've had quite a bit of success, my love. Yes. Can you put that back over there, please? Thank you, sir. I know. I know. Let's get this last bit off for you. Oh my goodness, we're going to have a warm bubble bath. Get excited about that. I hope you like the bath. If you don't like having a bath, that would make me sad. Because you're actually going to be so... Oh, clean. Hang in there, hang in there. I know. Is it, are we getting warm? Not really. We'll change anyway. Just for funsies. We are like down to the last big hunk, my man. We're all right. Oh, I know. So much. Just I know, you've got a dew pour in there somewhere, I felt it. Alright, alright, that's it. Come in there, my love. Moccasin. Oh, that is terrible. Just terrible. Look at him. Now we can go back to hate grooming, because uh, we certainly love this groom. <laughs> Oh, look at all those glasses in there. So many. Oh, gosh. They're all in. That's probably going to be the longest part of your groom is pulling grass seeds out of you. All right, so we are going to run him a nice warm bubble bath, get him all clean and dried, and then we'll come back and do what else we can do. But let's have a look at this before we go. I did not take a photo of this dog before I started, but I'm sure Dale can pull one out of somewhere. Mm -hmm. And um, look at that. How you feeling, Boo? Who's your mate? You could make three of him with that. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll run a bath and be back soon. So I've given him his bath, he's had um, a wash with a clarifying shampoo which breaks down all those nasty oils and things that he had on his skin. Um, he's had, what else did I use? Oh, a skincare shampoo that's got like um, coconut oils and those sorts of things just to help with his skin because it's going to be super dry. Then he's been conditioned. So we're rinsing off this conditioner. Can you get good boy? The bath was off. She's not mad about having a bath.
I would not normally go over their faces like that and around the ears, but he's, he's actually got a lot of like, not pus, but like the stuff that comes out of the eyes. He's a massive build up of that. So just really trying to get him clean there. Dry this puppy. We'll be back with a clean, fluffy puppy. Oh, I know. Is that so good, huh? Is that so good? Dry up these leggies. Oh boy. Hello. You say hi, everybody. Hello. Check me out. Do you waggle your tail? Or is it? Because it doesn't work anymore. Alright. Is that good? Hey, is that just so bloody good? Grass seeds are falling out, which is good, because then I don't have to pick them out. Stand up, sir. Mm. All right. So I'm doing this while he's wet because I can see better than when he's dry. Alright. Oh, I know, that's not comfortable, I know. Let me get it. So that one there is a little bit pussy, but I reckon the actual seed part is out. So it should heal up. Yeah. Let's get that thing here. Yeah, that's from a grass seed. It's a pimple, isn't it? Kind of like that. It's just infection. Just infection. So more of these seeds will blow out with um, the blow dryer. Mm -hmm. Got money back leg there. And there. I dread looking in here. Let me have a look. Don't get snappy with me, mister. I know, I know, I know. No, 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 no. Can't see. It looks like a shit team, though. Yeah. Definitely. I reckon you might be right. That one's in the skin. Oh, got him. So I actually had a dog today that has a grass seed infection that is probably a surgical removal. Um, in his foot which is unusual because he did not have a single grass seed anywhere in sight, but he has this massive infection in his foot. And I've got this guy who's got a billion grass seeds in his coat and what looks like to be no serious infection so far. Touch wood, that's not wood. Hopefully it's plywood. Oh, yucky. His tail broken or something. I oh, know, I'm sorry, mate. It's just the big wart. Yeah, his tail is funny, isn't it? Broken. Yeah, there's Broken. probably a grass seed in there. I would pick that as being. Ouchy. Yeah, some sort of. It's definitely <laughs> not good. <laughs> Poor little pucker. You're scared of that, weren't you? I was scared of something squirting out of it. Okay, so when you do check your dogs for grass seeds, by the way, make sure you do get right up in here, because that's in his, in the little bit of skin around his uh, scrotum. Is that the proper term? I would suppose it would be for a dog. 
the YouTube appropriate terminology. Jed's crackers. And underneath the bean mouth. Just jack you up here a little bit. I know I saw one. Where did it go? Did it fall off? Oh no, here it is. No one's even seen his penis for a couple of years anyway. Oh, no inappropriate comments, thank you. Alright, that'll do ya. Let's get him dried. Okie dokie, we are back. Mr. Wocky is all clean. Not so much fluffy. He's actually got quite a lot of hair loss through here. He's a lot thinner than he probably should be. Um, but, I mean, with all of that matting and everything gone, hopefully his coat can recover. I've just disinfected my blades. So I'm just going to get a drop of oil on there. And I have swapped over to my shiny new set of clippers. Okay, so I suppose I should show you real quick what we've achieved with our little sir here. All right, so um, you can see sort of the hair that's left behind after that sort of quick clip. He's got long bits and short bits everywhere. His feet are quite hairy, McClary. So we're just gonna go around and clip him all over again and get all that off and pick up anything that we left behind. He does still have grass seed in his feet. So I couldn't see with the hair when it was wet because I couldn't separate it. Um, but now that it's dry, while I was blow drying, I could see that there was actually quite a lot of grass seed in his feet. So once all the hair's out of the way, we'll be able to get in there. So I'm just going to pull his skin nice and tight. He's a little bit, I don't know, I don't know if he's exhausted or just been through a lot. It would be nice if he would stand up for me, but I'll just work around him for the minute. I'll get him up when I need him to. Up you get. Good sir. Um, he has not snapped at me even once not even one time so I don't know maybe I should have a muzzle on him just because the owners said that he was aggressive but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for now hopefully whatever it is I don't touch on it <laughs> and set him off we'll just go with that. Him's a sweet baby. He just needs some loving, don't you, my darling? So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It does really, really help to grow this channel, which I'm trying to do. Share my videos, drop a comment, all the fun stuff. Oh. And then hopefully one day I can monetize this channel. And it'll help me pay some of the bills. Yes. That would be lovely. Wouldn't it? Hey, bit of extra money for the honey. All right. I know it's a bit sore in there. I know. Okay. Let's relax now. Good boy. He's such a darling. We still had darling dogs all day today. Yes. No, Mr. Crunchy Pants. I know you don't want to. 
Uh-uh. Okay, now. No. No. No step. Let me do it. Uh-uh. Good boy. I know you don't want to. I'm aware. But off is best. Yes, especially in your case, my love. You just want it off. Off, off, off. He just wants a big nut, that's what he wants. Curl up in a little ball, in a cool, dry place, maybe warm, actually. I'd say he's probably a bit cold. In a warm, dry place. Hopefully he's not feeling unwell, or too, at least not too unwell. After everything has been through today, um, but it is for loves, it is better to go through this now and he'll be feeling much better tomorrow. Swap that blade over it's under the camera. And put a bit of oil on here. My oil's hairy from the, uh, what did I have? A uh, marima this morning. A big white fluffy marima whose hair is on everything. Yes it is. I know what that yawn means. That yawn means, woman, I'm getting cranky with you. I am familiar with it. You're not the first one to give it to me, and you won't be the last, buddy. Oh, yeah. No, I know that yawn. But I promise you're going to love me after. Yeah. I know, I know you've had enough of me. Uh-uh. Don't fight it, darling. Wish I had more hands. Just one more hand would be lovely. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, you're right. I don't know because I've never had somebody hold clippers to my face and shave it. So I can imagine, alright? Yes, I have a good imagination. His poor skin. It's probably very tender from having all the scabs taken off. There's a lot of scabs in this area. So sometimes I get dogs like this, um, and I'm going to say this so that anybody who's got a dog who's really matted um, and in bad shape, like sometimes I get people that bring me dogs like this and they're like, I bashed him last night and he was fine. And then I woke up this morning and he was like this. So um, don't, just don't, just don't, don't say it, don't do it. 
We all know. Every groomer knows. Is matting is not miraculous. It doesn't come out of nowhere. I mean, like one or two mats, sure. You know, maybe there was a stick or a grass seed or something caught in the hair and a little mat came out of nowhere, sure. But a dog doesn't come like this miraculously overnight. This is, you know, just, just get the dog in. Just book it in and say, yep, I have a very mad a dog. If you don't want to explain yourself, don't. Don't explain yourself. Just take the dog in. Oh. R.I.P. new noose. Alright. But yeah, don't, don't come up with some explanation or whatever. Everybody knows. One, you haven't had the dog groomed in a long time. Two, you haven't brushed or washed the dog between grooms. That's it. It's simple. It's not a secret. It's not something that's only happened to you. It's happened to so many people. And then after you get your dog back, like this, when they're all clean and tidy, please brush your dog. Brush your dog. Book them in for regular grooming, please. And if you can't do that, then at least brush your dog. And don't go at your dog with scissors. That doesn't help anybody. I get so many dogs with the, when you cut their skin, when you go at them and you accidentally cut them with the tip of your scissors. These are just paper scissors, but anyway. Um, and it goes into the skin like that. It leaves a V-shaped cut in the skin. And it hurts. And then the dogs don't want to be cut or clipped. They get scared of scissors after that. And then you get a dog that even a groomer can't groom. So don't do it. And if you own this dog, or you related to the people that own this dog, or any other scenario, I'm sorry guys, I know that I'm coming across insensitively. I understand probably more than you'll ever know, financial woes. I have four kids. I just paid school fees and uniforms and stuff today. Holy moly. You know, there's no money anywhere for anything else. I know those struggles, so it's not, I'm not trying to be insensitive to that, but it is frustrating on behalf of the dog. But I do thank you for coming in. Always book your dog in. I don't care what shape they're in. Okay, I'm not going to be rude to you or anything like that. I'll be honest. But bring them in. Get them sorted out. So ultimately, a dog like this should be groomed every six weeks. Mardi da, that would be beautiful, perfect ideal world. Um, if you can't do that financially, when you do get them groomed, get them shaved down like this so there's nothing left anywhere. No fancy cuts, no teddy bears and long ears and tails, just everything off. And then, no, no. Mm -mm. I'm going to do this and you're going to let me. You go back over there. No fancy haircuts and teddy bears or anything like that. Get everything shaved right off. And then um, give your dog a bath every six weeks. Make sure they're nice and dry. And when they're fully dried, brush them. 
and in between baths brush your dog every second day or at least two times a week so if you brush your dog on Monday and then again on Thursday night or whatever he will appreciate you for doing that and then by the time you get to the groomer again you know maybe you get him groomed always at the start of summer get all this hair off before summer before it gets hot don't let them suffer in the heat okay get all that hair off and then maybe at the end of summer so if you get them groomed in say even spring it's hot in spring say you got your dog groomed um this is for australian weather you got your dog groomed in say mid-september the middle of september and then again in march and then let them grow out over the winter that's fine brush them but if you can do two grooms a year your dog will appreciate it and you'll have a much easier time and they won't smell They'll be much nicer to have around the home. And they'll feel better. And I mean, I don't have payment plans because uh, I'm just such a small business. I can't, I looked at setting up like after pay and things like that, but the fees are just too high. So I can't do it, but find, maybe find a groomer that can. One of those corporation, corporate grooms pet shops or whatever I mean I would always say support a small business but if you if the payment plans what gets you in using an afterpay or something like that then do that if you have to ring a ring your small business groomer your local groomer and ask them can I can I give you twenty dollars a week until I have enough money sure Let's do that. I'm okay with that. Oh. Hang on, Huckles. Let's just get in there. So, so, excuse me, sir. I would like to shave your Tootsie Woods. Yes, I want to shave your foot. Not perfect, but his dew claw is like all the way around his foot there. What we can do with you? Is that nice? Is that so nice? Oh baby. He's all lumpy and bumpy. I'm gonna try and take his feet down a bit more. And if not, we'll just scissor some teddies. There we go. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Ba-ba-ba. I know. I know. Uh-uh. Good boy. Good boy. Put your tongue away. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Good boy. Mister. Where are you going? That's not where you're supposed to be. supposed to be. No, it's not. Oh, he's such a sweet boy. Oh. You want a cuddle? We can have a cuddle. Mm -hmm. Oh, darling. You smell better. Yes, you do. Come here. 
I told you I would definitely give you a cuddle after your bath. Hey, what a good boy. What a good boy. Okie dokies, what's left? I'm going to tidy up your tail. So, I don't, did you see that earlier? That's on his tail. It's like a fluidy filled something, something. That needs to see a bit. There's like, so I wouldn't normally like, you know how I was squeezing his little grassy sores before? I wouldn't normally do that. I would just leave it and say, hey, do you know what? Just go to your vet and get, um, get it checked out. Make sure there's no infections and whatever. But I dare say this young man will not be taken to a vet. So, you know, if I can just give those a quick squeeze out, hopefully they heal up on their own afterwards. But that, I can't do anything with that. That just is what it is. He needs to go to the vet. Um, I've probably been harsh in my commentary. I don't know. Let me know. If you think I've been too mean, that's fine. I'm happy to listen to that feedback. I try. I really do try not to um, put a personal opinion to things, but that's, um, this one, this one made me a bit upset. Hello. How's he looking? Good. Chin up. You're such a good boy. Can you put your hand up again? Thanks, babe. Oh, look at you. You're soft. We're sorting that out for you. You haven't felt a scratch like that in a long time, have you? No, we just had a card all. Did you? Yeah. I couldn't resist. Look at his sad little face. He's he so cute. Cuddle. Yeah, I was coming out to find out if you'll start cooking dinner now. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting that. You'll be nearly done soon, eh? Mm hmm. I'm tidy up his tootsies. Uh, I just got to get some grass seeds. There's still grass seeds in one of these feet. I'm amazed he doesn't have like major eye infections and all that sort of stuff. They're pretty nasty, but after a bad. bath, it's come up pretty good. It's his nails that I'm going to struggle with because they're really overgrown and they're he's all got a black. Tooth missing there. Yeah, he's older boy. Oh no, it doesn't. It's just, uh, just tongue recovery. Yeah, no. if you want to help me cut his nails. No, I gotta go cook dinner. Love you. Love you too. Hopefully him's a little boy to have his nails clipped. So I am just nitpicking here, just getting some of this a little bit tidier. Only because he's not mad. If he was mad, I'd just be like, he gets hairy feet. It has been a long, long day. What time is it? Six thirty. I started at about eight thirty this morning. That's not a long day at all. What day is it? Monday. Goodness, we've got a whole week to go. Don't be moving now. I want to chop off anything I didn't mean to. I 
I would like to clean up his tail more, but I'm not going to because... I mean, that thing's not making him uncomfortable, painful, but I can't really go around it without... I don't know, I don't want to hit anything. No, we don't. Excuse me. I am so glad that he has been a sweetie poop. Sorry, my um, battery died. You didn't miss much, we just trimmed that little ear. His skin is so tender here from having all of those five boohies in there. Like scabs. Um, and obviously all the matting that was there. Red raw skin. Alright. Not gonna worry too much about that because it's, it's uncomfortable for him to even be touched there. Let's have a crack at these nails. I am. What are we thinking? I'm going to not use this muzzle because it's wet. Ugh. I'm going to put the muscle on for his nails because they're overgrown and they're all black. Um, and there's a risk that I'll um, hit the click on one of them because I, I won't be able to see, not clearly, not perfectly. If I do hit one of those clicks and it hurts, he might just snap, um, which is a perfectly reasonable response to something that hurts. I would not be mad about that. It doesn't fit. Like a glove. And I'm just going to buckle this little noggin up here so that if he does decide to snap, he probably won't be able to reach down to get me. Fingers crossed, hey. I know. Do you know what? I really do trust you not to bite me, but just in case. Sometimes the only thing we can do is have a stab in the dark. So I can just see the start of the quicks there, so I'm not going to push, push. We're going to go from the back. From the back. Oh, I know. I know. Do you know what? Honestly, the worst part, sorry for man, you've been amazing. Let's drop this table down. I don't know why it's so high. I'm gonna go from the uh, the back so I can see what shit. Okay, uh, poop. I really don't think I can take anything off these. Those quicks are right there. Hopefully with all that hair off, he'll be able to actually run these babies on the ground and push that click back himself a little bit. I mean, the quick, the dew claws were overgrown. You got dew claws on the back? No. The dew claws were overgrown. The others are 
I mean, they're longer than you want, but they're not, they're not painfully like pushing up or curling over or anything, so. He just he needs to wear them down um, just walking around outside without all of that hair on there I know I, hey 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 give it a minute all right I, oh I know he did a little piggy snort this one is Weird. All right. I, yeah, I don't know what I'm cutting out, so it's being broken. I can tell that. All right, so I think we call you done. Done. Stick a fork in ya. Alright, do a quick clean up. Finish him off. My bin's down there. I always say that too. My bin's there. Um, Alright, quick blow dry. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you've skipped ahead to see the end result, this is it. We're here. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up. Um, drop a note in the comments. Share the video. All that fun stuff. All right. You, sir, are very welcome to my fur family. Yes, you are. Hey, give Walkie a thumbs up anyway, because he has been amazing. Yes, you have. All right. There we have it. One finished little man. Oop, there we go. All tidy. Is it perfect? Hell no. Oops, do you know what I didn't do? Thanks for reminding me. I didn't check for the grass seeds left in his feet. My phone is ringing. It keeps ringing. I'm so sorry. If you are ringing me, I'm not answering my phone because I'm doing this. I should have left your muzzle on because you were quite upset about these feet being touched. Okay, come on, come on. Let me in there. That one looks good. I think we're good there. Thank you, sir. Such a patient boy. Hopefully they've come out with the blow dryer. Nope, here we go. Okay, grass seeds. Grass seeds four days. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Don't get mad at me when I pull this out, all right? If I accidentally grab some toe hairs. Grass seed. Do you know what? I know you don't want to do it. I know you don't. But if I leave behind grass seeds and they get into the skin 
and I should post the other video. It's only a phone video, but I'll post it. I'll share it. Um, when they go all the way in the skin, you can't get them back out again. They hook on in there. Oof. I think I just cracked your little toe knuckle, mister. Um, they go all the way in, they become infected, and the only way to get it out is surgery with your vet, which is expensive. And not very nice for your dog to have to go through that. No, I think we're good. Okay, that's it. Done, done, done. We got one out. Perfect. One handsome little walkie. Give him a thumbs up. Yes, look at you, handsome little boy. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Um, like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you have a video you'd like me to create for you or um, any questions, pop them in the comments below. I'm always answering them. Um, otherwise, have a fantastic day, night, whatever it is when you're watching, and we'll see you next time.